Hello, everybody, and thank you for watching The Magic Show, which is what you're doing pretty much right now and or looking at my channel, which I appreciate. Uh, I do have some merch. As you know, many YouTube channels have merch. Well, I've got mine, and that is <gasps> The Magic Show Playmat. Look, it's a playmat. We could play magic cards on this thing because it'd be awesome. And so it's a new playmat. I had an older playmat with a different design. Here's a new playmat with a brand new design. The link is in the doobie doo. If you want to support the show and this helps me and mine, buy a playmat. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. And now on to the show. Everybody and welcome to another edition of the Magic Show. This week we're back with my very own spoiler from Journey to Nyx, a set that is looking fantastic, by the way, and it's a pretty big effect with an even better name. Because you know, in the world of magic, there are big effects. Big effects, splashy effects, things that make you go, damn girl, he did what? Back in Mirrodin, Mark Rosewater wanted to go all the way in terms of big effects. He wanted to take over another player's turn. He accomplished this with Mind Slaver, a card that has been both revered and reviled for a variety of reasons. Because you know what your worst fear may be in a game of Magic? Completely losing your turn to another player. Check out Worst Fears. Yeah. So, just, you know, gonna pay that eight mana and take that turn right away from you. You see that turn? That's my turn. That's my draw step. That's my attack step. My activation of your planeswalkers. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. A spell like Worst Fear shaves a whole two mana from the plane and activating of Mind Slaver to let you get to work on one or even two full turns earlier. Now, unlike Mind Slaver, it exiles itself, meaning any shenanigans with mnemonic wall and whatever are not possible, while Mind Slaver still enjoys the ability to slaver lock people in conjunction with Academy Ruins. It's an acquired taste. I mean, look. There's been only two cards in Magic out of black at seven colorless mana, and Infernal Denizen and Skeletal Worm aren't exactly worth writing home about. While you get some interesting stuff at two black and six colorless, like Avatar of Woe, Overwhelming Forces, Decree of Pain, and Tombstalker, this bad boy is easily splashable in whatever casual deck you see fit to slot it into. Because if we recognize that this doesn't live in a world of cutthroat tournament magic and instead on the kitchen tables, this thing gets a lot more fun. First, Panoptic Mirror is a card and a pretty good one for a spell like this. Oh, I'm sorry, I pay eight mana and I just get your turns forever? Seems good. Because if you want to get real cute, you could Panoptic Mirror a Burning Wish and keep getting your worst fears back over and over. A spell this big, this splashy, deserves to be abused in the most ridiculous of ways. I mean, I'm just going to say Eye of the Storm right here. It just dropped the mic. All right, all right. Not quite forever, but the mic was dropped, okay? The point is, not all mythics are super constructed worthy uber bombs, but that doesn't mean they're not bone crushing when you make your opponent do some silly things, activate their planeswalkers for no gain, or waste all their spells doing nothing of importance. Sometimes you just gotta show them what their worst fears are. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank Wizards of the Coast for the preview card and you for watching. I'll be back next week to talk about all the craziness that is Journey into Nyx and so much more. Please like this and subscribe to this because I have needs that can only be filled by magical internet points. And until next time, Magic players, this is Evan Irwin. Tap in the cards so you don't have to.